What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new dungeon that's coming out with the Flames of Ambition. That's going to be called The Cauldron. Uh, the team over at Zenimax uh, today went ahead and released, you know, kind of their preview of The Cauldron. They do this with all the different stuff that come out uh, that comes out within their DLCs. I kind of will break it down, talk about, you know, exactly what you can expect, give you some ideas of how it's going to look, how it's going to work, and just kind of talk about in general, you know, a little bit of lore and why they decided to do what they have done within that particular, you know, release. And the cauldron looks to be a pretty interesting uh, new dungeon. I know a lot of people out on PC have been able to go out and play these new dungeons on the public test server. But I thought this information was pretty awesome, so I figured I would pass it along. I will link the article down in the description below if you'd like to read over it uh, for yourself in its entirety. Uh, before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, uh, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel GT racing with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into it. Of course, like I said, this uh, new dungeon is going to be called the cauldron and it's hidden within the Eastern Hills of Deshaun. This is a long abandoned mine has become the site of cult activity. A local dark elf from a nearby village needs your help to rescue his enslaved family. However, he's not the only one interested in the mine. A fan favorite, Jamora, has also uh, has or also has reason to explore its depths. And says so for the dev team, they said making this was kind of a no-brainer. It was an easy decision because of its you know deep connection kind of to Oblivion, which of course is the whole theme for this year. They kind of go on to talk about some of the things we can expect to see within this dungeon. It says a host of Daedric Beast and mortal minions determined to complete the shrine for their lord. Their forces include merciless cultists, Daedric monsters, and even powerful Dramora soldiers utterly dedicated to their master. Uh, it kind of gave us a description of what you can expect. It's separated into three areas. Uh, the prison has mainly monsters and cultist guards, uh, lava caves filled with natural beast, and then the temple itself, which is in the inner circle, which I'm assuming is probably going to be where you're going to fight that final boss. Uh, it says their uh, fiery host stands fearful bosses throughout, uh, some very large bosses, uh, some of the biggest bosses in some aspects that we have ever encountered. So I'm definitely interested to see kind of how this plays out once we can hop into the dungeon itself. Of course, they also talked about, you know, a little bit about the new gear sets, the monster mass, the achievements, the collectibles. One of the new gear sets they mentioned was Dagon's Dominion. I hope I pronounced that right which is going to add 492 weapon damage to your AOE abilities. So, of course, that's going to be good for stamina-based DPS, but also for AOE heals like Echoing Vigor and Soothing Spores. They said a little bit, uh, like I said, they said a little bit of info about the new Monster Mass, which is going to give you a boost to your ultimate gain, uh, or ultimate gain, excuse me, anytime you apply a status effect to an enemy. This is ideal for those warriors who like to bury their foes and debuffs before bringing down the hammer. Also, it says in addition to that, there's going to be a host of achievements and collectibles for you to earn for completing the dungeon, also include, uh, including the new skin, which can be unlocked by beating the Cauldron on Veteran difficulty. Um, just overall, I'm really excited for a new dungeon. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Elder Scrolls Online's dungeon content. Uh, of course, I know not everyone has friends to play with. That's kind of my case. Uh, there's a lot of people that I play with that don't play anymore. They don't play all the time. And I do a lot of these dungeons by myself solo. Now, some dungeons in game you can't solo. You know, there's some, some uh, uh, aspects of the dungeon itself that takes multiple people to do a certain, you know, certain activities. But overall, for the most part, you can do most of these dungeons solo or with friends. Either way, whether you're playing with four people, you're playing by yourself. New dungeon content. I'm always really excited for it because it's one of the one of my favorite things about the game in general. I just like playing dungeons, and I've played some other MMOs in the past. For me personally, that really kind of lacked in that area. So like I said, that's one thing that's always uh, very, uh, kind of got me very excited or kept me interested in ESO is that dungeon content along with all the other stuff you can do as well. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're looking forward to the cauldron. Like I said, if you want to read all about this, see some screenshots from the cauldron itself. That article is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.